Saturday today, last night, Friday night, yesterday I went to Magic Kingdom. Fun time. I was bound and determined to walk the walkway from Magic Kingdom to the Floridian and then on to Polynesian. And I'd make it work somehow, even though, you know, the buses do stop running. I've never used an Uber before. It's kind of odd. People recommended Uber to me and then it popped up on my phone today and I've never looked for it before. That kind of thing happens all the time. Is that a coincidence? Or is my phone continuously listening to me and monitoring me? Uh, anyway, lest I digress. Yes, last night. And so I did that. I did the 88th challenge. Park closed at 11 p.m. I left, got out of there about 11.30. Began my trek down the uh, walkway to the boardwalk. And I made it, or not the, I'm on the boardwalk. Down the walkway. Down the walkway from Magic Kingdom to the Floridian. Hiked it over and got some sights of the Floridian. And continued on to... Polynesian, but I couldn't go any further. There's a construction. There's some sort of new resort or building being built there, and and you can't walk from the Floridian to the Polynesian currently at this time. And so, I, and you know, I started getting a dark, ominous feeling. Like, you know, Bruce, you're kind of setting yourself up here, man. You know, you want to be out till four in the morning and not get back to your room till five a.m. and feel like dirt tomorrow. Is that what you're looking to do? No, that's not what I was looking to do, but that was the set stage I was setting. So anyway, I walk over to, I get to the Floridian, find out I can't get farther and go to the Polynesian. I get that dark ominous feeling. I turn around and I start jogging. I'm a 50 year old man, over obese, I've been told. A uh, 50 year old obese man who smokes. And I'm gonna quit May 31st. That's like in a week and a half, I think. But two weeks but um so i'm running thinking i'm gonna get stuck i'm running from the floridian back to back to uh magic kingdom i tried to get on the monorail at the floridian but it had closed i talked to the young man at the desk there at the floridian L lovely wonderful man but about as useless as a three dollar bill and uh, <clears throat> carried on, trotted and ran and huffed and puffed, got back to Magic Kingdom. And I was trying to get, you know, they had already closed off the bus sections. You could not get back to a bus. And not, I was, I, I, up until last night, this morning, I was staying at the French Quarters. Uh, beautiful, loved it, loved it. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, then that's the the bus back to the bus stop, uh, parking spot for that for French Quarter is like way way down at the end of the bus line. But the the gates were locked; they were closed; they were done. I could see a few buses over there, but they weren't transporting guests back to their resort hotels. No, they were like shuttling staff to their cars or whatnot. But I got out there, I had to jump four, five, six, you know, I said to these security guys right outside the entrance of Magic Kingdom, I said, hey, you know, I need to catch a bus, and they kind of laughed and scoffed and said, blah, 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 blah. and what I was looking for it was the right way to get to those last remaining few buses, so, but I hustled, I stuck with it, I persisted, I jumped over like three fences, walking across bus lanes with no walkway. And I trotted and hurried, and just before this freaking bus is going to leave with this bus driver and like six staff on it, I catch up to him and I explain to him my situation. I blew it. I messed up. It's my fault. He said they usually check the walkway and clear that out because when the parks close, when Magic Kingdom closes, they wait for the, they keep running the buses till the park's clear course the park had been cleared i wasn't in this the park i was trotting back from the floridian and uh yeah there was no one left in the park and there were no no, no guests being transported just my lone fun loving foolish self jumping rails jaywalking through bus lanes duking and diving jiving but i made it to that bus and he looked like a quite well-read, uh, studious kind of young man. 
And I explained him my situation, and you know, he kind of scoffed too. But he, he said, "Well, you know, let, give me a minute." And he had me stand. And he talked to some other guy, a guy named Justin, a wonderful guy. I'm praying for blessings for you today, Justin, and the other bus driver that 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 made it happen. So I jumped all these railings. Fifty-year-old fat man running, smoking, blah blah, and uh, yeah, he hooked me up with this just top-notch, stellar Disney World bus driver employee, Justin. I give you five stars. I offered him a hundred-dollar bill. He would not take it. To him, I won't win it all back anyway. But that's that's hubris. That's arrogance. Shut up, Bruce. But uh, yeah, I appreciate it, man. Worked out. The Matrix is bending itself to my will. I just joke around. But yeah, I got back to the... You know, it's like 11.30 a.m. and it's 95 degrees. I'm from Illinois. May, May 18th. Um, so yeah, Justin took me back to the French quarters at the Port New Orleans. Got back to, into my room... Mm. Oh, I think it was like 1.30 a.m. Maybe 1 a.m., 1.30 a.m. And I'm such a... But, you know, I want to go rock along the Sasagula River and enjoy, you know, each night, three nights there. I, I went out for a walk. I don't know why I'm wanting to abuse myself lately, but it's just good, clean fun. Finally got to bed at 4 and that might have had something to do with me deciding not to go to near Carolina today. Anyway, I, I talk way too long. I'm a long-winded windbag. So God bless you and uh, Johnny the Alien. Be good alien. Eat your broccoli and cucumbers, no matter what they say. And peace out. Be a good guy. Don't be a bad guy. Don't be a fool either. Don't be a coward. It's time to buck up, pirate.